What is up YouTube, McCann here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video um, I was actually just finishing off my foot champs games there, I've still got one mere win um, As you probably know, if you are following the stream um, We've had an absolute nightmare on Saturday We are foot champs, we were 8-2 and two on Friday And then we ended up 12-8 and eight. So we, we lost 6 games on Saturday and only won 4 Which was, uh, for my own standard, isn't it too great So we've decided we're just going to... Um, we're just going to get to 14 again this weekend. The original plan was to try our best to get to um, high as we could, maybe 20 or 23, but obviously that isn't in the works after a poor a poor um, Saturday on Foot Champs. So it is currently 7 minutes past 6. Um, as I said, I have just finished a game of Foot Champs there and uh, I have absolutely no idea um, what kind of content it is, apart from the fact that I can see a, a new SBC for this evening, it looks pretty nice to be fair. Um, but other than that, I will take you through it and we can start from any, to see if there is any objective cards. Obviously, I'm not expecting any objective cards or any milestones, but there always is, there's no harm in checking. So we have still need to complete the Silver Stars, which is fine, we can get that done. And then obviously the Week 1 and the Week 2. Um, objectives as well, which we should get done. Uh, icon swaps are going to get. We're going to get them six battles done this evening, just after I finish my foot champs, and then that will give us some rewards for the squad battles tomorrow, and it will also give us more tokens as well, which means that I only have two more tokens to get, and then we can get the mid icon pack open. So absolutely no objectives in terms of milestones. I don't believe there will be anything. Um, I'm under the impression that the upgrade packs, the 81, 87, and the uh, 82 plus upgrade packs have now expired, um, so which is unfortunate. Hopefully they bring out some upgrade packs um, in due course in the future. So in terms of SBCs for this evening, we do have uh, Jonathan DeSantos' two segments to complete, but his card looks very, very nice. Player moments, earn a player moments, Jonathan DeSantos celebrating his winning goal of the CONCAV Gold Cup 2019. So four star, four star, which is nice. high, high, high work rates, which is always good for a midfielder. That's a nice card, man. That is a very, very nice card. Um, pace is absolutely brilliant for a central midfielder. Shooting is so very well-rounded for a midfielder. Um, passing. Long pass is a bit low and so is the vision, but with the right chem style, we can get them boosted. Dribbling is absolutely brilliant for a central midfielder. And defending physicals, although they are 75 and 78, you look at the stamina and the aggression, it's pretty decent. Strength, a bit men, jumping a bit maybe. I mean, look at that, the defending stats as well, they're still relatively well-rounded. Not as high as you would like them, but they're still well-rounded. Um, so, we do have the Jonathan Santos, which has just dropped this evening. We also had the Icon SPCs that dropped last night, um, the Prime Moments at Kaka. Uh, the Prime Moments, just the Prime Kaka, sorry. The, um, Prime Michael and Prime Roy Keane. I would personally stay away from them, I just feel like it's far too much coins and stuff to be spending at this time of the year. But I believe that, oh... We have new, we have new upgrade packs. So exchange a squad for a a, go, a rare gold player rated eighty two to eighty eight, and then a, and then the eighty plus pack, player pack pack is back as well. So what we're actually going to do, guys, is we're going to actually complete the three of them, and then it'll give you an idea of what kind of stuff to expect. Um, so before we have a look at uh, the Santos on footbin, we will have um, we will get through. A couple of these SBCs, so it is for an eighty-one double put, uh, an eighty-one plus double upgrade. as seven rare players, and um, just like to see what we've got in the club. We are lacking um, a lot of rare players in the club just because of the the um, the, the upgrade packs that have been completing lately. Um, so looking for seven, so that's five, six, and then we can put my test screen in. So then that should be. Aye, so one, two, three, four, damn here, five, six. So we'll need another guy, put him in there, and we'll see if we have any other rare players here. Bear with me, guys, bear with me, bear with me. I'll put Borel in, he has a left back, so. And then we need. This is the exact same as the 82 plus, I believe. The 30 cam as well, so. Easy, pretty easy to complete. So 
we do need two strikers which are here. And that is the the, the double upgrade, the 81 double upgrade. Um better turn this down. That is the 81 double upgrade completed. Um, so we'll do the 82 to 80 upgrade, which is quite nice because that, that, that we can still get headliners in that. So minimum of gold players, 9, and then 30 team chemistry. So if we squad build this one, this should be quicker. So we put it to gold, we put it to low rating, and then we fire that in. Obviously we're not going to put any rares in here, okay, so because there's no need for any rares, but we do have that. Obviously you just need 9 in here, but I'm just going to submit that the way it is. And then that's, so we only need 9 gold. Um, so you could put nine and then two silvers or whatever maybe. I just feel like for quickness you could probably just put the gold cards in. But again, you can make it a wee bit cheaper for yourself. Um, so in this one, it's two rares and minimum gold. So we'll do the exact same as again. So fire in gold and then we'll put it to low to high rating. And then we will make sure we have two rare players in this as well. Um, so we have three there. We're not going to submit um, Malatal, Sissoko or... Renato Sanchez because they are nice low rated cards for um, completing objectives and such like managing your own masterpiece or whatever so we're going to put Teo and we'll put Maranchuk in there and then that means we need 30 chemistry so either a Spanish La Liga centre back or mm, Should work with that left back there, right? So there, there, there is the three new upgrade packs that we have that has been released tonight. Just before we go and have a look at Jonathan De Santos, we will open this player pick pack as we as we see it, um, and obviously that's um, no very good f for me. <laughs> Hopefully this is right. So that is tradable, which is ideal. Otherwise, I would have to go and made an art made an art pack, as you know. My club, my club is a no man left behind game, so we do have. And our two packs to open for you. This is obviously my project team of the year stuff, so that is not getting touched. So we will do the 82 80 rated player again, just to, just to give you an idea of what things you may expect in these packs. So we're hoping for boards at least, and um, so we don't actually even get boards, which is absolutely rubbish. So we do get an, 80, an 82 rated player, hopefully, it's not duplicate, um, which is no. So as um, Matthias Ginter, um, and then obviously, we do have the, the double upgrade 81 uh, rated red players. So um, Jonathan De Santos' is, SPC is coming in at quite cheap. We've not even checked what. So we do get boards in this one for the double. That's a, a team of the week. Is that team of the week? Team of the week left back? That is a team of the week. Obviously, only an 81, so, but it's again, we can add that in the SPCs and stuff. So for a double upgrade pack, we get a Lucas Mora and a Lee Bold, which is again team of the week card. So I forgot to actually check how much. Um, the Santos is coming in at saying on football that he's only 72k, which is interesting. Um so far, Jonathan De Santos, we need an 82 and an 83 rated team. I'm obviously I'm gonna complete this card. He's absolutely definitely worth it. I know he is off league, I know he will be hard to link into squads, but that card is so so nice. Um so I'm gonna take you to Footbin now and we can have a look at him in more in depth. So he is coming in at 72k roughly. Um I'm sure it said four star, four star. I'm definitely, I did say 4 star, 4 star, and I will take his back to the FIFA screen just to prove that. So he is 4 star, 4 star, as you can see here. He's definitely 4 star, 4 star. So there is obviously a mistake here in footbin. High, high work rates and traits, we don't have actually, we don't actually have any traits. We're not even actually getting his um, in-game, oh, we're getting his in-states. In, his in-game stats have just popped up and he's changed to 4 star, 4 star, which is fair play. 67,000 coins. His SPC is coming in it, and that is a very, very nice card. I mean, we an engine, he's an 88 um, centre mid. Even even him out in the wing there, um, either side of midfield or whatever it may be, he's coming in at a 90 rated. Um, I'm maybe a shadow? Nah, shadow doesn't work. He is going to be a box-to-box -box midfielder, so we a dead eye makes him a 91 cam, um, a maestro, 90 cam. Um, I feel like the stats that I was looking at, it needs to get boosted as the long passing and the vision, so an artist. An artist makes him a very, very nice um, centre mid there, um, for sure. Powerhouse, obviously, again. Uh, you can do a lot with this card, you can absolutely do a lot, but for that price, I would certainly say that it's definitely worth it. Again, it will help you with any MLS objectives and milestones that come along. Um, so I'm actually going to get them completed, um, and then I'm going to play my next 
foot champs game, which will take me 14 wins, and then that should be me. Um, so a very, very nice card, very interesting card again. Uh, obviously, his price is determined, obviously, but because he is an off week player as well, so you need to take, take that into consideration. But let me know how you feel about the card, guys. Let me know if you are going to complete him. I highly suggest that you do complete him, it's relatively cheap. Um, for an 86 card, again, it will help you with objectives and stuff if the MLS objectives do come about. Um, definitely a, a nice card, and you do have nine days to complete them, um, so that's that's not so bad. And I'm, I'm quite happy we do have upgrade packs again. Uh, a, a lot of, uh, my club relies on a lot of upgrade packs in terms of like the bronze pack meft and stuff, so I'm quite chuffed for that. So, guys, that is the end of the video. Let me know what you are thinking about uh, the Santos, if it's a good card, if you are going to complete them or whatever. Um, but until the next time, guys. You take care. I'll see you later. Cheers.